am your host and this is Fox Mask News. Now anyway, hi, let's have a more serious talk today. It's come to my attention that The Last of Us series is out and actually pretty good. I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard that kind of thing from a few people by now, so I'm looking forward to experiencing it. But what I'm not looking forward to is experiencing the things that this man had to over the last few days. If you haven't heard it, you're most likely just like me. You don't use Twitter or Instagram or TikTok. And overall, you are 10% happier than the average user of these platforms. Now, this girl has brought my attention to the recent situation with our beloved oversaturating, simplifying and cranium having artist Sam Does Arts. And actually, when I heard that he almost was getting cancelled, I thought this man did something bad, like something really bad. He as such a beloved and nice and wholesome man for the way he showed himself. I would say he was genuinely a nice guy and not the weird kind of nice guy. And then I found out what has happened. Like everybody else, I was shocked. So much so, I almost distracted my thoughts with this for more than two minutes straight. He drew Ellie. For the people that don't know The Last of Us, that's the young girl in it. You've probably seen her on the cover and on various different artworks. And the whole gist of it is that she doesn't look like the actor of Ellie in the series. I think he drew some other character as well and that one has more similarities to the actor. Well, knowing the internet, it was about a 50-50 chance on getting a total shitstorm. Because the internet, and with that, I mean the people of course, can make a huge deal out of literally nothing. If users of these platforms don't get to hate on something unconditionally at least every other week, they become kind of depraved little hate goblins that fire up a drama out of nothing. I have to say Twitter and Instagram and TikTok maybe, I don't really know about TikTok but it's probably the same, are such toxic communities. Everybody hates on everything. I get that for some it can be a useful tool, but being on there just to be on there because you want to be there? I'm sorry, but this is just sad. I can only hope that you are part of your own little bubble without hating on everything and everyone who did one little slip up and small oopsie and you just look at your feed and maybe you like something and then you press the like button and then you go about your day. Which is the way I think the platform should be used. Sadly, however, a big portion of the people don't use it that way. Well, anyway, now that you've got the backstory of what is going on with that drama, I'd like to talk about this mentality of the consumers, which sucks. I obviously know this does not reach far and wide. However, anything is better than nothing. In my honest opinion, he did nothing wrong. Sure, he drew a character and it didn't look exactly like the reference he may have used. I saw the picture, it's been taken down though, so I don't know if I can find it to show you. But if I find one, here it is. It looks like one of his pieces and it feels like one of his pieces. I don't know what you want more. You can like and dislike things about his art. You probably did that to some other piece he posted over the course of the last year. But did that bring you to bully this guy into taking down his own artwork? Hell no, because you're most likely a grown up or soon to be. And when something isn't exactly as you want it to be, you are not genetically required to whine about it to someone like a little baby. Chances are, when that happened in the past, you did not. So why are people reverting back to their toddler face where they have to cry about some art piece not looking like the actor? There's a good chance they just jumped on the bandwagon of someone having his mental meltdown because of this art piece and it got out of hand quickly. If you ask me, the moment you write a comment about how something on the internet has brought you to express your frustration about it, especially something like a picture that you just scroll past on your phone and that has absolutely no impact on you or your life whatsoever, you are taking a loss and a big one at that. A good example of what I mean is when people on YouTube get into these small arguments that have nothing to do with who they are or what they do and suddenly one of them wants to have a boxing fight, claiming to beat the other easily. It instantly shows that it got under your skin or under their skin. And additionally, you or they embarrass themselves by hating on something that absolutely didn't deserve it in the first place. 
I'm not saying you can't critique things, but there's a difference between critiquing and expressing your opinion and crying like a little bitch about the way something isn't like you want it to be. I seriously hope the people that started this and fueled the fire really rethink their choices. If something like that gets you worked up, then you should definitely detox yourself for a month from this social media site. Behavior like that can't be too healthy. So anyway, this is all I wanted to talk about. Give me your opinion about what you think of it in the comments or on the Discord, and I'll see you guys next week. Have a nice time and happy drawing.